Okie dokie. We are making a yummy dish. Y'all, I got this um, Tyson chicken breast, thin slice, but who cares, right? $3 off just because it had to be sold today or by today. So got two packages of that and went ahead and put that in here. And I'm going to add a um, taco seasoning mix. I like to get the less sodium. And, and I'm going to add these diced tomatoes and green chilies, this can. If I don't think that's enough, then I'll add a little bit more diced tomatoes. And then I got these Mission Car Balance, sorry, tortillas. And they're only four net carbs. I like to get the small ones because it keeps me accountable on my size. And then of course I got this version for the husband. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once it starts cooking and simmering, okay? Hello everybody. Hello. I feel like it's been a while since I've been on here and just like talk to you guys. So that's what we're going to do today is just talk and catch up. And um, I'm about to show you some clips of my move and some of the struggles that I've been going through. The struggle has been real. So let me just show you because like I am a super, super organized person. And so the move has been a little rough and I'm still working on it. Okay, we're gonna cut to what I'm, what's, what's been going on with the house. So we just finished moving the house yesterday. Let me show you what kind of terrible, terrible, terrible craziness we've got going on. One daughter's room. <laughs> My room. Got all that. Another daughter's room. Oh my goodness. Now, we're back to um, current day and I'm gonna flip it and let you guys just see from where I'm sitting right now. So it's not like super, super so it's not like super clean or anything, but at least it's a little bit more organized. So let me show you guys. Got a new couch. Look at my puppies. <laughs> and got a little bit done. Got some pictures on the wall. Yay. So some things I wanted to kind of update you guys on. Um, so I guess I'll start with my weight. So I had surgery uh, VSG on 325.19 of this year. Um, so I am, I started at 312. My surgery weight was 298 and my current weight is 272. Um, I kind of think that I might actually be more in the 270 range, but I'm, because I'm a little bloated right now and that, like yeah those fingers look really bloated um and i'll like hold on to a couple pounds if i'm bloated or pms and easy real easy but um you guys have to look at my dog he's straight up watching me talk what is it poop poop you gonna listen to mama <laughs> sorry side note Okay, so anyways, I'm down to like the 270 range. 272 is what we're going to go with right now because that's the most accurate and what I weigh. Um, I am like 11 weeks out. So I've, I've lost 43 pounds. Maybe I should have lost more if it were, you know, up to my doctor. Sometimes I go and they're like, oh, you're in the, the low range, but you're losing, so you're still good. And honestly, I don't really like when they do that. Not because I can't handle it, because I'm a strong person, but, um, you know, to people who aren't, like, if you you go through this surgery and then you have a doctor telling you you're not losing fast enough and you know you're not eating hardly anything then you know that could really mess with you so anyways um that's besides the point i uh, yeah i'm at 43 pounds down and so weight wise i've been losing slow um but i do think let's also be real like i attribute that to i have carbs sometimes like i have pinto beans 
I'll have a handful of white cheddar Cheez-Its. And this is not something new, so don't like freak out, you know, and leave comments about how I shouldn't be doing anything like that because I've been doing that ever since, basically. I just choose and, you know, kind of like intuitively feel like if I feel like I need it, I let myself have a little bit and then I just don't for a while afterwards. But, um... So I'm sure if I cut out more carbs or something in the, in the little bit that I am eating that maybe I would lose a little bit faster. Um, but then again, I mean, you know, if your body's not ready, your body's not ready. It's, it's gone through a major change with surgery and so, um, you know, there's no telling. But um, I am definitely losing inches. Like I'm seeing people and they're, they're like, you're getting so tiny. Um, so... My clothes are fitting differently. I am pretty much to where I'm going to have to go and, and buy some more pants. Pants and panties are getting big. So that's all like really wonderful stuff. Um, but um, so uh, let's move on to any of the other topics and stuff going on. So I have had dumping syndrome. So last time I spoke to you guys and just kind of talked to you and you guys got real with me. Um, I don't think I had really experienced it before. So let me just say like, I have never been someone that throws up easy, but I will sit there and stay nauseous for like a really long time to where I wish I would throw up. So I've noticed that that's my dumping syndrome. I get really, I get like dizzy. My whole body sweats and this can last for like 30 minutes and I feel like I'm going to throw up. I feel like it's like, like the lump in the back of my throat and where you would want to like make yourself throw up if you don't throw up. So it's pretty rough. I've only had that a few times. Um, my key is, is that I really listen to my body. If I notice that something's really making me, you know, upset or my heartburn gets, you know, a little too rough or something, I just listen to my body and I avoid it. Um, so I don't, I don't continue to try it. Um, the only thing that I did continue to try after, uh, a dump, a dumping syndrome issue was some grilled chicken. I had had some from a restaurant. Um, and I think it was just like the seasoning and everything was just new to my pouch and she just wasn't used to it. And so she pitched a little fit. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, tr I gave myself a break, had the dumping syndrome. It was so freaking terrible. Um, but then I tried it again and now I do really well with it. But, um, so like another thing is I still, like, I have not forgotten about my chew rule. I chew like crazy. I still treat my little pouch with utmost respect and, you know, just, I, I just keep chewing a whole bunch and make sure that everything's prepared for the digestion. Something new that I've done is I have named, I'm going to turn it this way. I have named my pouch Zelda. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why, but Zelda just came to mind. So Zelda. Um, and, uh, yeah, Zelda and I are becoming friends. We're just kind of, you know, getting to know each other. And, um, look at my mess I got back there. We're just kind of getting to know each other and, and figuring out how to work together. Another thing that, that I have noticed is I think I'm starting to lose my hair. Um, I have always been one that, that sheds hair. Um, like I, I'll always kind of play with my hair and, it, and I'll have little pieces shed, but I feel like I'm noticing a lot more strands on the sides of my like shirts and stuff than normal. So I feel like it's coming. Um, and I'm staying on top of my vitamins and everything. That is my hardest. That's my hardest thing right now is remembering to take my vitamins. But um, other than that, um, I, I've been pretty, I've been pretty fortunate. I, you know, dumping syndrome is real for me, but it's only happened a few times. I, ha I don't have a lot of the other complications. I'm able to eat lettuce, salads. However, let me just say, I don't, really eat iceberg lettuce. So I, I've heard some people have problems with that. I haven't really had a lot, um, iceberg lettuce, so I couldn't tell you about that, but, um, still, you know, trying to, I know, I noticed that 
I can definitely eat like a full four to sometimes five ounces of food depending on what I'm eating and the consistency of it. Um, that kind of scared me at first at my last appointment. I told my doctor, I was like, oh my God, I feel like I'm eating a little bit more. And she was like, well, you know, when this, as the swelling goes down in your pouch, you're going to be able to fit more food in. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Okay. So as long as it's within, you know, that range and, you know, and I, I was like, okay, I'm good. I've just been trying to cook a lot more and experimenting with recipes and I, um, that's why I'm starting to share more recipes with you guys. So you'll probably see a lot more of that come out, especially because I like my new kitchen and my new house a lot more and that's fun. So, um, I feel better cooking in it. <laughs> so another, uh, thing that I want to tell you guys is that I think I'm going to go to like a lazy keto. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while and sometimes there are, are like, Sometimes I'm, I've got to do some things. So I'm going to carry you guys around with me. Sometimes there's like a day or two where I hardly eat any carbs. It would like definitely be considered like a lazy keto day. And I feel like that I wake up feeling really good. Like I feel like I'm not bloated, I, which I tend to have a lot of bloating easy. Um, I feel like the scale moves. Um... I just, I just really all in all just feel like I feel better. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to, um, a lazy keto kind of thing. And, and, you know, I do want to hold myself accountable and start recording more of what I'm eating. I am making good choices, but I just want to make myself more aware of exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to start you know, recording my daily intake and, you know, I'm going to have to do that if I want to count my carbs anyways. So I will keep you guys updated on that and I will have keto recipes, um, that I will want to share with you guys and I'll let you guys know how that goes. So probably, you know, five days on for sure. And I'll let you guys know how it goes for me. Like I know the weight's going to come off. I had surgery. I'm making good choices. So I know the weight's going to come off. So for me going keto is not like, Oh, to show you guys all these pounds that I lost. It's just to kind of regroup the whole experience for you guys. So anyways, and so now I have walked us into the kitchen and I am going to, um, show you guys what I'm making for dinner tonight. All right, here's a little update. As you can see, some of it has cooked. Um, I'm gonna like cook a little bit more and once it's cooked through, then I'm gonna shred it. However, for me, I'm not sure I wanted to add more tomatoes, but I do want it juicier. So I'm gonna add some of my organic bone broth. And just get it a little bit juicier in there. See, that's quite oh no so look at that that's that's a big difference so we're gonna let this cook a little bit longer I might still add more diced tomatoes we'll see um, but I will let you guys know uh, thanks guys for coming and checking me out once again I hope you're enjoying my updates um, I'm just loving my new house and trying to do the best that I can with my new friend Zelda the pouch. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep calling her Zelda. It just sounds really funny. But I think if I have to like write about her on my Instagram or something, Zelda is totally cool. But anyways, if you guys haven't, go check me out on Instagram. I just share a lot more of my daily journeys. I love getting to know all that community over there. I, um, and then if you haven't, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button um, so that I can continue to get my information out there for you guys and um, I just I hope you like some of the stuff that I'm sharing with you guys I hope it helps somebody touches somebody whatever it needs to do but until the next time see you on the next one so guys this is the shredded chicken with a little bit of chicken broth and the diced tomatoes I did not add the other can I think this is plenty um, this is going to simmer for a while and then I will probably um, put it in my taco shells with cheese and sour cream and uh, I will show you guys in just a little bit. 
So here's the finished product, guys. Their tortillas are heated up separately. We've got sour cream and cheese on the bottom uh, with some salsa verde and hot sauce. And this is going to be so yum. Thank you.